Do you live alone? Is it just you and John? She said that she laid him down and went and checked for about an hour and a half later and he was cold. He's about six months old, she said. Cougar 2 to the emergency room, please. When we get out, I'll take over CPR when we get to that. There you go. Okay. Gotta have a plan when we move. One, two, three, four. <laughs> It'll be okay, ma'am. They're doing everything that they can to save her. <laughs> We are one of the largest BLS, which is the EMT level field ops in the state of Kansas. Traditionally, community colleges focus their attention on paramedics and AEMT training. But for us, we like it for all levels. So we really focus in on those BLS providers because the majority of the state of Kansas is EMTs. They're not paramedics. So if we can expose them into that field operations day, it helps them when they go out and volunteer in a rural community or even a metro area like Wichita, Kansas. Um, we focus in our attention on BLS because that's a core for our, our college. We have a lot of EMT classes throughout the state of Kansas. So, you know, spending that just a little bit more time for them to have field operations day compared to ride times where they may only get a couple hours, you know, of actual EMS calls, where here they get to be the main or the lead uh, EMT on the scene for at least one call throughout the day, which is, is helpful for them in the long run because that's our goal is to get them out in the street and be ready. Yes, what we could do is we can go ahead and clean the area. We're going to call x-ray. I'm going to go call it. Uh-huh. And then we can go ahead and clean that area. Should we get whitewashed I think the students were well prepared. Um, we started with a, we had the walk-in clinic, and then we also had the um, full ER set up. And so we had it set up that the students would be either uh, having the walk-in type diagnosis and sending them home, or they were going to go into, we had full, you know, even full code scenarios. And so it, it's as real life as we could get. And I think that the students did a great job. Set shoes up. Okay, we're going to be a little, little stick. And if it's not, if you don't see what you want, this tells you Epi. Baby's been down a long time, so we could give Epi. If we intubated, we could give epinephrine down the ET tube. Okay. So that's something that as a nurse, you could go and get that Epi ready because you know you might need it. You could start pulling that. She says over the past year, but very confused and uh, spit out the aspirin that was administered to her. Really, is this necessary? We try to give a wide, wide range of scenarios from everything from the simple medical calls to the trauma patients to um, having the 1048s, which is a motor vehicle accident, so that these students get a, a very, a, just a plethora of all kinds of calls to do. Because when you run a call, you don't know what you're going to have. You don't know if it's going to be that miscarriage. You don't know if it's going to be a wreck. You don't know if it's just something as simple as uh, abdominal pain or something. So we try to give them the a wide variety, but not just from the medical part, but also from having to deal with a grandmother that just lost her grandchild, that she's, she's the baby's code blue, which means pulseless and apneic, uh, not breathing and not uh, have a pulse. And it's just, now they've got to deal with the family, or they've got to deal with bystanders, or they've got to, oh, hey, we've got a scenario hey, here going that we have police department not here, and we need them. So it, we try to get all kinds of different things in there for those guys so they get to see, and they don't get to see that if they do the ride time in the clinical quite as often. Barton Field Ops Day, you kind of got put under a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, a lot of things you're not usually uh, like subjected to, I guess. First scenario I got called out to was a rollover accident with three people who were injured, two were unresponding. Um, the second call I got dispatched to was a domestic no, violence no between two women who were no, apparently drunk. And my last scenario I was dispatched to was a code blue infant who was unresponsive for about 10 minutes. Come here. Ah. Mom. Lady. Ah. Come on. Ah. Hey, we're here to help you. Yeah. We're here to help you. This is my final exam for the, for the uh, spring semester. It's, to me, it's 
everything into one. They're bringing everything in the classroom. Assessment, it assesses everything they do and they get to actually hand, do hands on. So this year with just the freshmen, I thought we did real good just getting thrown see into it. Some DNA off her face. See if we can find any DNA from the guy's fist or woman, whoever it is. I felt like it helped me learn how to better triage patients coming in that are critical and you know and get into the ones that are most critical. The scenario at the drug house was interesting and it was actually fun to be able to play a role, um, a different kind of character to my normal disposition. Um, kind of gave me a little bit of empathy for the patients that we might take care of in that situation, um, kind of knowing what they go through and what situations they might have came from. I think they did excellent, you know, it, typically with the EMT class, it's not like the paramedic level where they've been in school for two years. This is only semester class, so it's really, it's scary for them. They've not been in this situation before. So when they come out, you know, it, it's kind of shaky at first, especially the first run. They, they're they not sure what to do. They, they haven't worked well with each other before. So it's a learning experience. Um, I think that they did pretty well, especially under the circumstances. It was very cold that day. And uh, you know, today it's gorgeous, but we work in all kind of conditions. So for, for the conditions and for the experience that they got, I think they did pretty well. Next year, I'm hoping to have one to two actual air ambulances come out. Um, I'm hoping to get some actual sponsors, some exhibitors to come in. That way the students can kind of, you know, talk to those exhibitors, learn about the different type of gloves and all that type of stuff. Um, and then, of course, we're going to use the same entities, the medical lab technician, medical assisting, um, RN, criminal justice, and, of course, the EOC, which is the emergency dispatchers. And, you know, our, our hope is that next year we'll be able to use the whole entire grounds. But, you know, we're going to have more outdoor scenes. We may even have some type of explosion that occurs. Um, it, it should be pretty interesting. And, you know, if anybody's interested, wanting to be patients, victims, or to help, we can always use the help. So, you know, get a hold of me. We'll, we'll definitely hook you up with some work.